I've got in front of me the um, uh, project diagram which I uh, created in my last video. So just by looking at this, this gives you a quick overview of where we're going to be. And we're going to be in this particular folder, tests, and we're going to create this file, test my test. So I've already created that file already, and it's just a blank file at the moment. And I'll just put that into um, Vim and open that up. And to begin, I'll just um, create the path. And you don't really need to um, set the path, but we do it just in case you sort of move machines and the path is not there and you know just to help the code by putting it at the top but um, if you've got your path set up then you don't really need to put to use this uh, shebang all right so I'm going to import time and I'm also going to import unit test so that's the module the test module that we use that comes as a part of Python and then we use test, sorry, classes. So um, I'm going to call that test, my test, and we need the module unit test with test case. And within the class, we create methods, and each method we create will be a, a unit test. Um, unit test which implies testing a unit testing a piece of something all right so I'm going to call that test underscore uh, do stuff and because it's a class we have to include self and if you're familiar with other languages like JavaScript then self is the equivalent of using this the word this and what it does it allows you to pass data around in the class so we're going to use um, self and we are going to print something give us some output to the terminal and I'll just say do stuff all right and I need to include this main and we run unit test dot main all right so that's our very basic unit test and I'll just run that And as you can see, we've got the output. I'm not doing anything amazing. I'm just um, printing to the to the terminal. And then typically with tests, you know, there's loads of other stuff in there which you can use. Um, like for example, assert values. So there is a there are uh, keywords that you can use, um, or methods or functions that you can use, where you would assert values you would compare values so if you're expecting a value to be a particular data type you could um, assert its instance its data type um, you know if it's supposed to equal something um, you know that's how you can you can you can assert your tests right okay so let's include another one in there test do stuff self nope sorry call that um, do stuff to and we'll say print oh sorry not print do more stuff all right so you'll notice that I put I include um, test prefix on each of my functions now or methods and um, what that does that um, that automatically runs each test so if I weren't to include that if I were to leave that off then I'm really kind of disabling this test 
So I can have loads and loads of tests, and if I wanted to stay, disable them, um, then I, I just remove the prefix test underscore. So I'll include it. Um, and you can also run, you know, if you didn't have test underscore on your test, there, there's also a way in which you can run it, and I'll show you that, show you that a bit later. All right, so let's run that. So here we've got the output do stuff, and we have um, do more stuff, and we ran two tests, and both were okay. All right, so um, I'll just go back to this as well. Right, so that's you know, if you had loads of tests, that's going to be really kind of difficult to understand. You know, um, you want to be, you want to have something a little bit more specific. You know, where did those tests come from? So if I run that again, and I include uh, the V flag, and that will, that just means verbose, and that will give us uh, some output. So now we know it came from the method test do stuff and test do stuff too and it's coming from main and the class test my test all right so um, what if we want to just run one of those tests right so we've got loads of tests in there but we just only want to be specific and, and particular and pick a particular one so what we will do let's just um, do that again keep verbose switched on and I can specify test my test dot and a method and we can run it and we will just get that particular one so test do stuff to main test my step sorry test my test and um, we just ran that particular test all right so let's do something a little bit more and I'm going to introduce um, teardown. Sorry, setup and teardown. So let's put them in there first. Setup and teardown. All right, so what this does, set up and tear down. Um, these are these are particular words, um, function names or method names that you have to use to, in order to invoke set up or tear down. So set up starts at the beginning of your test, and for example, you might use that if you are you know you need you need to do something initially, right? You need to if you're running Selenium, you need to create a browser session and you want to pass that same browser session throughout your tests and you can set that up um, using setup rather than doing you know doing um, individual um, initialization of the browser session on each test you can just do it in setup in one place one method up here and then with teardown you can um, uh, end each test with teardown. So for each of these, it will run the setup and the teardown. Okay. All right, so let's um, put something in our setup. So I'm going to put a mock session ID and using time int time dot time. So there's a module within time and um, times 1000.0 and I will just put a note in here so this is going to be my mock um, session ID so it could be a session ID for anything right okay so um, I'll just include um, another I'll just include another um, uh, test. So test quit, and this will invoke the teardown. Or, the, or, or when we run this, this will um, invoke something within teardown. So te uh, quit self, and just up here, 
I'm going to initialize quit and I'll call that true and in my test quit I will say self dot quit equals true and sorry just go back up here and call that false so self dot quit is false when I start and then um, uh, test quit is going to be um, true when I quit okay and then I'm just going to print something to the terminal so I'm just going to say close and quit and um, I'll say if self dot quit equals true else none okay and then also within each class I just want to print out the session ID so I'll say using session using my session okay let's just copy that to the next one all right and we can run that so as you can see I've ran three tests and um, this the first function was the setup and I created the session ID so here you can see the timestamp I carried that session ID over to the first test which is test do stuff so you can see the output for do stuff that test ran okay then we've got the second one exactly the same thing that ran okay with the session ID and then as we hit the last um, uh, test we then were able to invoke close and quit because we had set self dot quit to to true okay all right so um, yeah I think that that's it really so um, that's something that I wanted to show you but just to conclude there's something else that you might want to do and let's say for example you had let's just copy this so let's say for example you wanted to run a load of uh, you had a load of um, test cases test files within your test directory and you wanted to run all of them in one go right so let's just go over here and I'll show you how to do that and let's just call this two and we'll just come back over here and the way we can do that is um, Python 3 M unit test so instead of um, specifying each individual file we'll say please look in this directory so the s flag is is the um, is, is the flag to say look in this directory and we set our directory so my projects my Python and then oh, do you know what I think it'd just be easy if I do this just throw in it throw that in and then um, we'll turn on verbose and we'll run that so we've ran all of those tests so we've got uh, do stuff do stuff too um, exactly the same method in the in the other file but as you can see the case is coming from test my test two two of those okay so um, what if we had quite a few um, tests and you just wanted to match it on pattern so let's do that as well we'll leave it on verbose and we create sorry we'll add another flag which is um, 
pattern a pattern match so we can say test um, my test two run that okay so we didn't get anything on that um, we can include a wildcard and then it should run oops sorry capital two there you go so that's now run and um, yeah so you can just use a pattern match um, to get the files which you need so you know so here's another example of that another pattern match there you go there you've got all four of them all right so that concludes this one and i'll catch you in the next one cheers bye